information about the working modes of the fans in the ICP40. Does the current revision of ICP40, the product is under constant improvement, so it may it, it may change uh, in some time. But for now, that's the product which we which we ship. It has the uh, one breaker box, um, uh, switch gear box, breaker box, and one fan controller. And the fans, you have two fans uh, which are uh, which can work in in uh, in double mode. So one mode is 100% speed of uh, of fan speed, and you do that uh, just uh, connecting that. Uh, the power cable to 220, 240 volts, single phase, 50 or 60 hertz mm, power connection. That's it. Nothing special. And uh, then uh, to start the system, you just need to uh, start the breaker W. You are doing that normally after you fill the system before, because if you start that that uh, too early, then it will be hard for you to just find out if the system is filled correctly with the with the fluid. So first we would like to hear the pump, hear the system, how the bubbles are, are going, going off and then we can start the fans after the system is fully filled. So starting the fans at full and the fans will go at full speed. So that's the uh, full speed in the completely silent warehouse after hours. Uh, and. Uh, uh, but it will not be such noticeable when there is uh, some any noise around, or street noise or whatever. So that's the first uh, mode, fan control, 100% speed. The second fan uh, in that mo in that mode, W break breaker W up, and the fan controller is switched off as you can see here. It's positioned zero. So this is the this is our fan controller. Now the another mode is to have the uh, breaker W down and fan controller started so on you can see that the program is starting and the fans will start working so the fans are working very very slowly normally we use different fans right now uh, we used uh, the standard fans uh, we are changing that product right now to industry industrial till abec fans because so much so much better there is literally no noise when the speed of the fan is uh, degraded or slowed down now, as you can see, we have uh, the temp sens temperature sensor takes the temperature from that uh, um, from the fa fan adaptive controller takes the temperature from the sensor uh, temperature sensor, and that sensor normally is attached on the uh, outlet manifold or on the inlet manifold, depending on the configuration to the uh, to customer which we which for which we are planning. Now, when I'm holding my that in my hand, it it should become uh, the, as you can see uh, warmer. And uh, the uh, LCD screen shows the LCD uh, on LCD it shows uh, temperature in measured in Celsius temperature of that sensor. Now we will simulate what's happening if the if the manifolds are becoming a hot uh, because of the hot fluid going through the through the system. So normally the inlet temperature from outlet temperature from our enclosure going to the dry cooler, so it goes here through the pump. It's uh, approximately 60 degrees. Celsius. This is what's happening if that uh, if that uh, mm, system is working in the 35 degrees Celsius ambient. 35 degrees means 95 Fahrenheit, and the 60 degrees going into the uh, system it's 140 Fahrenheit. So we are actually uh, going out of our minus with the 60 degrees uh, hot fluid, which may be used for the heat to use at home or any other uh, purpose. And uh, that's the temperature in which that dry cooler is working perfectly, even in the very hot summer time, 35 degrees ambient, uh, which is uh, which is 95 uh, Fahrenheit. Now, uh, the uh, dry cooler should should cool down the, the, the fluid to the temperature of four, 40 degrees. So from 60 to 40, 20, uh, 20 degrees delta T, uh, 40 is 104 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is the, the inlet temperature from the dry cooler, so it goes here to our enclosure. And uh, we actually need hot water or hot temperature to, already hot or warm temperature to cool the minus. We don't need cold water as some other, other products or other solutions which require uh, less than 20 degrees uh, Celsius inlet water to the, to the system. In our case, we are cooling the minus with the hot fluid. Now, uh, as you can see, the fan speed is throttled 
uh, is slowed down by the by the adaptive fun, fun controller, and, and we have that controller is already programmed, so we don't need any special programming skills or anything. There is an option to program, but we strongly advise not to do that because you can just you can you may damage the fans, right? So it should be done under the, the supervision, and it may avoid uh, void warranty or it may damage your fans. So. Uh, let's simulate what's happening uh, when we are uh, adding uh, hot uh, fluid. So the, let's imagine that the fluid, the, the sensor is uh, is uh, getting hot temperature from the from the manifold. That should be quite warm. I would say 50-ish, kind of 60, maybe 50, 50 something. So let's let's find out what's happening here. So the temperature is raising, and the speed of the fans is also raising. And it goes like goes like that. It's 40 degrees al already. So imagine something which, which goes from your enclosure. So that's the moderate temperature. Or that temperature during moderate season. We have 50. And let's, let's see what's happening when it will reach 60, probably. Faster and faster and faster. Normally, that would be not noticeable under the when it would be uh, normal street or normal nails. It's 55. It doesn't want to go higher than this. So this is basically 55. So this is the temperature which should normally go uh, from the enclosure. We can uh, go from 50 to 55 to 60. Uh, there will be also 60 at 60. When it, it will reach 60 it will uh, speed up the fans to 100%. So right now it's like 60-70% uh, of the speed of the fans and it will be significantly higher than uh, uh, from, from 60 degrees it will start uh, working at full speed. So that's the basics of operation. Two fan modes, one full fan mode, breaker W up and that's the full speed mode and the and at that moment, the fan controller should be sh should be uh, shut down. So the full speed. Right. And that actually pulls. And that actually is is um, is. Uh, the, that fan speed, that that, that capacity is uh, is uh, aimed to pull the system at summertime 35 de degrees, and it should reject 40 kilowatts of heat from your miners. So this is pretty powerful device for such a pretty compact dimension. One more thing, very important, before I finish, uh, we should uh, always keep that closed because uh, there is a pump opening. So the pump head is cooled by the uh, by the fans. But the problem is that if you leave that open, the fans will be sucking the air through that compartment and not through the coils. coils. And we want that uh, to utilize all that all that coils up if possible. So then we will be, you know, uh, closing that whole compartment at any time uh, besides the typical maintenance. It should go. Uh, it should be uh, closed completely, and it sits very tight. So. So sometimes there is some work which you need to, to do, but well, it will be doing just fine. Guys, that was the quick update uh, on the uh, fan operation and fan operation modes. Thank you so much. So much.